Welcome back to another Untrained video. Today I was invited to join by a friend of mine to help with some base raiding on a full vanilla first person aired server and we're going to raid large bases from full adamantine to secure boxes to owners logging in during the raid. This is also the first episode of a two part mini series. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more make sure to drop a like let's aim for 200 likes. If we reach that like goal I'll post part 2 tomorrow. Also subscribe to not miss any future videos. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord over discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going through another one which is a burning dingo pdw if you want to win this make sure that you've liked subscribed and comment something below and if you're a channel member you also have a hard chance of winning before we dive into the video i want to introduce you to today's sponsor are you trying to start your own answer network whether it's for survival role play or you just want to play with your friends look no further than pine hosting with pine hosting you can set up your server very easy they offer high performance servers and the interface is super user friendly when i started hosting my own network i had no idea how to do anything but with pine hosting's navigation i learned the basics in a very short time they have locations scattered across Across the world and their pricing is also super cheap and they also cater to a lot of games that includes rust arc and minecraft a feature that i absolutely love is the ability that you can install plugins and mods just by clicking once you already have another server with another provider you don't have to worry because mine hosting will provide personalized help to help you move your servers if you're ready to start your own unturned servers don't miss the link in the description below and make sure to use the code ldg for a huge 30 percent discount and let's get straight into the video Alright, hello boys, so I basically just joined a full vanilla arid server. Now, this video is going to be different, we're going to be doing a lot of raiding. Basically, one of my teammates, Smiley, has been playing on the server a lot. Apparently, the server died out, but there's still a billion bases to raid. So he told me, yo, why not, why not join, do some raiding, maybe we'll do some online raids as well. We'll spend all day here trying to find as much insane base raids as possible. But yeah, this is a full vanilla server, don't really play full vanilla anymore, to be honest, not really any active servers out there but yeah, there's gonna be a lot of raids so we're gonna be a trio first things first i think we're gonna go to their base he's gonna give me like a little base tour or something get gluted and then we'll start running around the map try to find raids they also have a heli kind of kind of incredible we don't have to spend all day running around all right so we're in base uh it's actually quite massive <laughs> i'm probably gonna get lost in it <laughs> it's honestly too big you're yeah, finding some loot for us to so that i'll have a gun and that kind of stuff Bro, to get all of this loot in full vanilla, it, it requires a grind, man. Yeah, the loot is crazy. Let's just take a backpack. Yeah, there's a few guns here. Bro, they're, they have uh, real guns and everything. That's crazy. I'll take an LSR. I mean, it's not really a very rare weapon. I don't really want to take the best loot, basically. So that if I die, I wouldn't really lose it. Yeah, they have rocket launchers. I'm pretty sure they have everything that they need. I should probably take some ammo, full clothes set, some meds, and then basically we'll be good. Since it's vanilla, probably gonna need food and all of that as well. Yeah, they they have so much over here. I'm gonna take a few meds. But yeah, I also think that the server is gonna wipe very, very soon. So a lot of people did leave waiting for the wipe. I think it's gonna wipe in like two days. So for me, that's actually perfect because we're just gonna raid. And the owners wouldn't even care. Now, my teammate did actually tell me that he knows a bunch of adamantine bases and he also knows a base which has secure boxes i have no idea if we're gonna try to raid those if we raid a secure boss that, that's gonna be actually perfect i never raided a secure box in full vanilla before i don't think i ever raided a secure, secure box in general to be honest usually i just skip them because of how much they take even though they're probably where the good loot is always is but yeah i think first things first we still need to craft the raiding gear so I probably will do that first before we actually try to look around for some base raids. I really want to find myself an online raid. Either an online raid or the owners log on during the raid because the server does have raid alerts. I think that would be epic. We should try to find some PvP. There we go. We got ourselves a, a helmet and a vest. But this base is honestly incredible. I'm going to take that water over there. I'm pretty sure they won't mind. Yeah, server has decay as well. So when we're raiding with subot or rocket launchers, we actually have to be careful that they're not really that decayed. Probably Osho also should make a bet. Do not salvage this wall. All right, I won't. I don't know what's back there, man. It could be something actually important. All right, so my teammates are running around the base uh, looking for stuff to raid with. And I'm just crafting them. They're bringing you to this room, giving everything in here. I can make everything. I'm making charges. Uh, they're telling me that throwable is actually stronger. So I'll do that. Oh yeah, here we go, cobalt demo, and we make it into throwable. Yeah, we got even more cobalts and explosives. He grinded heavily. I'm pretty sure he also made a series on his YouTube channel, so if you guys want to see it, I'll have it linked in the description below. If you guys want to see how he got all of this load, it'll be there. 
If you guys do want to see more aired first person only vanilla servers, let me know. I'll try to make myself perhaps a solo series on the server when it wipes. I think that'll be very fun. I'll probably get demolished though, because there's a lot of tryhards on these servers. But I think it'll be a fun experience. Alright, there we go. We got ourselves another demolition charge. We need a few electronics to make it intro throwable. So let's just make it into another demo charge. And there we go. We got ourselves another throwable. Basically, we'll put them all back in this locker. Once we're done, we'll try to find ourselves some raids. Hopefully, we'll start off from something small maybe like a brick base or a metal base doesn't really need to be a full at the men sign instantly but just from the helicopter ride from the safe zone to here i already saw a billion bases man probably gonna take us a while to raid all right so we also got ourselves a bunch of sabot we did use all of the explosives we had uh, we do have a lot of raiding gear man all of this is our raiding stuff including the sabot and we can actually make oh never mind yeah he has even more he has three more coal builds that's insane. That's crazy. That's, I haven't seen this much raiding gear in my life in full vanilla. It's a lot, man. But obviously, we're gonna use all of it. Hopefully, we'll profit from this. That's really the question. Now we found ourselves a base. Seems quite big, actually. Full brick, mostly. Unless inside there, yeah, there's some metal. Maybe the core is full adamantine, that kind of stuff. Hey, on this server, we're gonna find large bases. Full vanilla, you always have these type of large bases. All right, and here we go. First, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go with Subbot. Pretty sure there's gonna be all honeycomb though. Yeah, it's honeycomb. At least not triangular. All right, through another wall. Lovely. And through another one. All right, I think he's gonna put a coal built over there. Now, the cool thing about Aerith is that if we raid, for example, an Adamantine wall, we'll get ourselves some ingus from it. So if we raid something Adamantine... Yeah, there we go. Adamantine right here. A lot of bricks on the floor. Damn. <laughs> I could actually build my own base with the amount of bricks that there is. I can't do this jump. Yeah, we can actually take so much brick. I'm gonna take my vest off because that could be slowing me down. Yeah, I can't do this jump, man. No, I literally cannot do it. It could be the helmet that's slowing me down, perhaps. Let's try out with the helmet off. Yep, never mind. I, I just cannot do it. I don't know. Now, we're gonna put another charge somewhere. Looks like there's a huge tower as well. So there's probably not gonna be anything at the top, but probably the loot is where, obviously, the adamantine is. I can make maybe stairs, but yes, yeah, it's not gonna let me. All right, and... Okay, we throw a bunch of loot, but looks like nothing that good. Got us a heavy helmet, TX. Obviously, I'm gonna take as much loot as possible. Yeah, there's more loot in there. There's a lot of loot in there, actually. But all of the loot we get, obviously, I'll give it to my teammate. You know, I'm not gonna build my own base or whatever. Right, let's just get rid of that. Yeah, still not throw. I think one more charge should do it. We're still not true. You know what? I'm gonna take these bricks. We could, like, build a brick buildable or something. I'm pretty sure they were building with bricks or honeycomb. Yeah, we're through and... Uh, looks like it's a bunch of junk. There's nothing really that good, to be honest. I made a billion stairs by mistake. I did not want to do that. We get ourselves a ladder. More loot back here. Well, there's a... Oh, cobalt crystals. I got, like, five crystals. Gauss mask. Another gauss mask. Two law. Rocket launchers. You know what? It's not that bad. Those crystals are very, very, very nice. Even though we definitely did not profit. But if we move all of this loot, we can actually get some decent stuff in return, probably. I think we're done from this raid already. Ourselves a diving pack. There's a lot of guns. I'll make sure we didn't miss anything good. I'll take good guns as well, even guns from Fort Canal. I'll take all of these bricks, stack them, just in case they need it for honeycomb, who knows. Well, yeah, first raid, not that bad. Could have been much better, but at least we got some crystals in return. And my teammates could have gotten good loot. Don't really know what they got. Alright, so we're actually gonna continue with this raid. Apparently, yeah, there's still an area back here. Yeah, behind that generator, probably. Alright, yeah, they're putting C4. They broke it. Alright, see if they got anything good. Uh, okay, well, gunpowder, explosives, some bars, honeybee, TX, some ammo. Right, yeah, let's go through here. Could be just honeycomb, to be honest, but let's just check it out anyway. Switching through the wall. Yep, crates. Oh, there's a lot of crates. Uh, nothing good, though. Fertilizer. Yeah, nothing really that good. Bunch of clothes. Uh, Dragunov pistols. Bunch of clothes. Yeah, so we're gonna take, obviously, what we need. And we'll move everything to base. Especially items that can be stacked. And we could salvage a lot of the items, too. Yeah, bunch of, bunch of copper coil. We'll take these. But yeah, you know what? It's not that bad. It's time to start moving all of the loot now. Alright, so we just found ourselves another raid. We were going back to base with our loot, but we're, we're just gonna raid right now. We probably won't really get anything that good from this, to be honest. Let's raid the door. But it's vanilla, so you'll never know. It's like a bunch of large crates, a uh, bunch of clothes. Everything seems organized. Uh, there's some stuff in there, actually. Let's raid this one. 
Explosive, Vincerez. Bunch of metal bars. That's not bad. Bunch of ammo. Nothing good over there. This one had a bunch of guns. Let's check out the second floor. Let's reload. I can't get through. Wait, let's wait for the reload. I don't think there's anything up here. Yep, just an empty room. I want to check the, the gun crate. But yeah, this raid wasn't really that good. We definitely did not profit. There's a Zolash and a UZ. This one has a bunch of guns, but mostly just tier 1 guns. Nothing really that good. Let's go back to Depot. And then we'll find something bigger, hopefully. Alright, so third insane base raid. Full metal. Charge. There we go. We are already through. But, bro, there's no way we raided into an empty 2x2, two two, man. That was a huge waste. Uh, probably the loot is on the other side. Could have been like a garage or something. Alright, let's go to the very corner. Don't want to die. And we are... Th okay, yeah, there's a bunch of metal ones. Uh, nothing good. Lighter. Let's destroy the bed. A bunch of crops. I think with one charge, yeah, this is gonna be enough. Alright, let's just get out of here. I don't want to accidentally die. Wait, what? Where's the... Oh, there we go. Alright, let's jump off. I think if we use one charge... Yeah, he's gonna do a throwable. Oh, there's somebody with a car. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, and he's dead. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, he had some loot. Nothing that good, though. My guy came to the heli. Uh, let's just take whatever loot he had. Nothing really that good. I see what loot that base rate had, because we didn't even check. Wait, what? Mo okay, well, most of it is empty. Night vision. Uh, this was not worth it. Definitely not. There's reloading tools over there, but we don't really need that. Yep, this raid was the worst one yet. We didn't get anything from it. It's crazy. Alright, so we're back. Depot, uh, a lot of the stuff. My teammates did actually get good loot. I saw what they depot. They got a bunch of high tier guns mostly. I broke my leg. But well, we're gonna go back up and we're gonna go back to the heli and we're gonna continue trying to find ourselves some more aids. On the way on the heli, we found another one that is mostly brick, but we're not sure if it is actually raided or not. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna we're gonna check it out. Alright, so this is the base that we found. It's mostly large, man. It's very big. Let's go back in. Oh, there we go. We got a lad day. So apparently we're not actually sure if these guys got raided or something, but yeah, I think we're just gonna go through. Wooden door, uh, hatch. Actually, I don't think it's raided then. I think the majority of it is gonna be underwater. Alright, let's back up. He put a charge. Yeah, we are true. Okay, there's... Okay. What? This is a very weird base. There's loot though. There's loot on the floor. But it seems like nothing really that good. Plastic boxes. You know what? We could take some stuff from it. For example, like all of those copper coils or whatever. And yeah, there's some loot on the floor. There's a bunch of one by ones probably where there's like claim flags or actual loot in there. But oh, this one is full of guns. What the hell is that gun? I never saw it before in my life. <laughs> I'll take it. There's a bunch of spotlights over there. So I gotta be careful that I don't accidentally drown. Oh yeah, we're through. Oh yeah, there was some. And yeah, these don't have loot. But nothing that good. Night vision. Bunch of pens. Oh, I need to get out of here. I'm gonna drown. Bro, I'm gonna drown. No. Oh, I'm good. Uh, this raid wasn't really that good, sadly. But maybe all of those rooms, there's actual loot in there. But I don't really think it's gonna be worth it. Especially since some of them are at the Mentine. Alright, let's just get out of here. Right, so we just found something massive. There's sentries, bro. But, what? Okay, they don't even have ammo. Great. Perfect. <laughs> That's actually quite lucky. Probably a lot of people try to raid this base. But, yeah, this is a very weird design these one by at the mentine rooms probably actually like they have loot distributed all around yeah look there's so many some of them are are raided too what yeah, there's some loot over here i'll take that stack of copper man hell yeah all right so um i think we need to go back to base and get raiding gear i don't think we have enough they have adamantine safes up here as well that's crazy all right yeah let's get out of here and we will return with more raiding gear all right so we're back uh that sentry has ammo all right, i almost died man Let's med up. So apparently with the rendered distance, uh, my teammate saw a secure box. So we're gonna try to raid that. We're not gonna raid the rest of the base. Probably all of the good tier loot is actually in that secure box. So we're gonna raid that room. Alright, yeah, we made it. Didn't die from that sentry. Let's hope that we actually have enough for the secure box. But yeah, it was this room back here. Wait, what? Does this, out this is off. Yeah, but this is the room with the secure box inside it. Alright, let's just start raiding through. We got three subbots, a bunch of charges. Let's hope it's gonna be enough, man. I really, really hope so. Alright, and we are through. Yep, the secure box is right over there. There's a few safes as well. Alright, let's clear these out first. And uh, we got ourselves a nemesis, a bunch of random junk. Right, let's raid the Edimentine one next. It looks like, hey, also a bunch of guns. They have GPs and everything. Alright, let's start raiding the secure box. It's gonna take a while. 
But hopefully we we have enough, man. I really, really hope so. So we do have C4, but first we're gonna use all the sabot ammo that we have. And afterwards we'll just switch to C4. Alright, so we're technically out of sabot ammo, um, and we're going to go with C4. This base is massive, to be honest. I don't know why it's all here. Yep, it was not enough. I am stuck. Please do not detonate. <laughs> Alright, I would die. Alright, uh, yeah, we're out. Man, I really, really, really hope we're gonna get good stuff from it. But it's gonna be my first secure box base raid. Yep, still not enough. There's a bed over there, so... Yeah, rude. So the tactic we're doing is that we're fixing, like, the wall after C4. Yeah, we broke some... Uh, some of the adamantine walls. What's important is, the, is that the floor doesn't break. That's the only thing that we don't really want to break. That bed is crazy OP. It didn't break yet, man. Yep, still not enough. Let's back up. Still not enough. Come on, man. Please break. Oh, it broke. Oh my god. Bro, there's so much C4. Grenade launcher. Secure box. Yeah, we got the secure box too. A bunch of AMR ammo. Yeah, we hit the jackpot with this. On full vanilla. That's crazy. So I your box is very, very, very nice. And I think some of the loot also fell off. Yeah, there's some stuff on the floor. So I'll go check it out very, very, very soon. I also don't think we're gonna continue raiding this base. I think we just came for the secure box and we're gonna leave. I really don't know if we profited, to be honest. We did get a bunch of C4, a bunch of AMR ammo, secure box, which is always nice to have. But I'm really happy with that we actually had enough to raid it, man. I think we're gonna run out very soon, so... But now we can do more raids. Well, we found another base raid. There's sentries outside, but they're off. Right, we're through. Already found a Dementium. Oh, we could actually walk through here. There's a bed. Nothing really that good. Unclaimed bed. What a weird base, bro. Let's try this bed, obviously. There's a bunch of one by ones at the Mentine as well. Bro, everybody's just having one by one at the Mentines on the server. Right, you put a coal belt. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Let's eat a potato. Yep, did a lot of damage. We. Broke basically the base, but we didn't really get any loot. Can we maybe make stairs? We're destroying controllables. And we are through. And looks like, yeah, there's a few uh, large boxes. This one broke. Looks like rope ladders. All right. Not really good, but we do actually kind of need those. All right, he's going to throw a trouble. Let's go. Let's hope some good loot from it. And, uh, well, there is loot at least, but stack. Copper. Some guns. Nothing really that good. I was kind of hoping for a better. Yeah, there's a bunch of stacked items too. So that's not really that bad. Alright, so I guess in these random adamantium one by ones is where the good loot is gonna be. So we're probably just gonna raid those. Alright, so I put two C4. Let's hope there's more in there. And yep, there is. We also broke a few items, bro. There's a bunch of computers. It's actually good loot. Alright, let's get ourselves another charge. This one should be enough for both of them. Where's my dead cell? There it is. Alright, let's back up. And yeah, a bunch of more loot, but nothing really that good. Bunch of steelies, bro. They have so many steelies. Alright, boys, and this is where we're going to conclude episode one. Now, in episode two, we will continue this raid. We will find a few more raids, and they start to get quite crazy. In one of them, the owners log in on a very, very large base. And that is it, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you guys do want to see more, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.